Hey, welcome back. We made it to Friday once again, people. We survived another week, and boy, what a week it was, huh? There was a lot going on this week. But today we're going to be talking about, we're going to spice up your life a little bit. Add a little spice to it, make you feel all nice, warm, and fluffy inside. You know, spices. No, these kind of spices. Get your mind out of the gutter, people. Anyways, it's Friday, and we're, today's video, we're talking spices, and we're talking why you want to have spices in your supplies in case of an emergency, okay? Now, the biggest thing is, is you want to make sure that you have spices and stuff, because if you start cooking a lot of the same dishes and over and over again and everything else, if you don't have some way to change up the flavors, people are going to get bored with it really quick. Obviously, though, in regards to that, once you get hungry enough, it doesn't matter what it tastes like, um, you're going to eat it. Plain and simple. I mean, it's just um, a fact of nature. So, you know, you can get spices, you can buy spices, however you want to buy spices, you know, whichever way you feel the best way is for you to buy spices and what you can afford, you can go to your local food co-op and buy fresh spices or fresh ground spices and stuff from there. You are going to pay top dollar for those. You can also go to your local Walmart and you can buy these small little nice containers right here. And um, these are, I have to put my glasses on folks, sorry. <sighs> You know, it's uh, less than an ounce, a little bit less than an ounce, okay? And you pay 98 cents. So, I mean, you know, that's not too bad, you know? <clears throat> you can get all different types, especially if it's Walmart brand. They usually have those big bins, you know, you see those right over. Usually they are like right in the meat department right there in like the middle, you know, between all the freezer sections and all that. And you can go in there and you can, you know, dig through the whole pile of them and pick them out and they're 98 cents a piece all right so another way that you can do this too is is i kicked it up a notch all right i wanted to make sure that i had certain spices that i had quite a bit of all right now <clears throat> i'll take this one out here this is italian seasoning as you can see i put the date on it which is 10 16 of 2019 i put an oxygen absorber in there there's actually two of these inside of here i put an oxygen absorber inside the jar and i vacuum sealed it now i have all different types in here i have adobo we love adobo i have chili powder my main stuff onion powder um you got to have crushed red peppers oregano paprika uh, just regular parsley, garlic powder. This one here is another adobo. We go through a lot of adobo, so I did I did three of those. I have three adobos, okay, because adobo goes really good with anything. So if you had like wild game or something like that, anything along that lines, you know, adobo would really be good to have on hand. Um, if you're going to be eating a lot of fish or something like that, you can use like, um, um, I forget the name of it. Old Bay is a good one. Um, so you want to make sure that you have some spices and stuff because if you're, if you're cooking a lot of stuff, and especially like with rice or even um, macaroni of any kind, like I said before, wild game, um, anything like that, you know, to have some spices to put into that. Or if you are, if you have knowledge in the wild edibles, you know, only if you have knowledge do you go out and pick stuff and eat it. Okay, if you don't know what it is, don't pick it and eat it because it's not going to turn out pretty, spice or no spice. And um, this way here, you can spice up your dishes and make it really good. <clears throat> now, I kicked it up another notch, okay? And what I did was, as you can see, I have a Ziploc bag here, and it is full of all kinds of spices. Okay? <clears throat> now, I made this... So I can put this into my backpack and I can take all these spices with me 
and total weight is less than one pound for all these spices. Now, if you go right online, go right on Amazon, you can order these small little Marlar bags. Now, as you can see, one side is clear. You can seal the top, okay? You can seal the top and it has a zip lock, all right, which is really nice because then you could peel the top piece off that you sealed and then you have a zip lock so you can open this up, take out what you need, zip lock it back shut and you have all your different spices. Now you name it, it is in here. There's there's cur uh, curry, oregano, thyme, uh, just a regular steak rub, paprika, uh, Southwest essence, uh, sage, um, cilantro, adobo, rosemary. Like I said, all this stuff just is this is made just to go in my backpack. So if I have to leave or if I'm out somewhere or whatever else, I got any spice that I can think of. Steak seasoning, sesame seeds, uh, celery, ground ginger. It, the list just goes on and on. You know, there's a Greek spice, there's turmeric, um, whole allspice, you know, so like if you got a pig or, or you got a, a wild bird or something like that, that'd be good in there. Uh, pumpkin pie spice, come on, we have to have that, right, you know? <clears throat> uh, crushed red peppers, uh, anise and seed, uh, we got bay leaves, we've got coriander, we got... Uh, garlic powder, that is Italian seasoning, uh, carway seeds, black pepper, do, 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 nutmeg, as you can see I got everything in here. Uh, garlic, it's dried garlic, uh, regular salt, white pepper, <clears throat> that's another one of those, basil leaves, uh, parsley, poultry seasoning, um, another cumin, cloves, um, beef bouillon. I did take some beef bouillon cubes, and I had some chicken bouillon cubes. <clears throat> Saison, dried mustard, and onion powder. <clears throat> and I just took a little bit right out of my own. Uh, because you can see these pouches are really little. I mean, they're not that big, okay? So I just took a little bit out of what we already have in our spices, in our cupboard. I filled up these things. I didn't, I don't overfill them. I just kind of just put enough in there, you know? And fill them up, seal them all, label them. Put them all in here. I can zip lock it, take all the air out. And if you're going on a ha hiking trip, camping trip, anything out in the woods, an emergency situation, emergency backpack, something like that, you can throw this sucker right in there and you have some spices to spice your life up with. And you're going to love eating in the outdoors or in an emergency situation if you have to cook whatever you have in your emergency supplies. So I just wanted to do a little video on how to spice up your life and show you, there, you know, there's a lot of different ways, you know, you can store in these, if you don't open them up, they're sealed, you know, you can store in here, if you store everything in a cool, dry place, you're good to go. You can take and vacuum seal them. I threw an oxygen absorber in just for security purposes, you know, I don't know if it's going to do any different than vacuum sealing, um, but they're all vacuum sealed and all sealed up. I bought the little bags. You can get them right on Amazon. They're not that expensive for the small little, um, I don't know what they call them, but I call them little spice bags. And um, just throw everything in there. And now I got it. And this could go with me wherever I want to go. And I've got a little bit of everything out of the kitchen cabinet. So this is on how to spice up your life. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I will catch you all on the spicy side.